previously on The Plot Thickens. Anyway, FBI let me go, so thank you. Yeah, it's uh, it's just lucky that I happened to have that run-in with the FBI back in the early 90s and uh, happened to know this particular agent. Oh yeah, they lit up when I brought y'all up. Yeah, apparently they got a whole unit of summer for cults. And so oh. they had like an undercover agent <gasps> in my cult for like three months back in uh, 93. What we, if we can go drive to, to a... Taco Bell. If you want Taco Bell, we will go to a Taco Bell <laughs> and we will go inside and eat uh-huh. inside like uh-huh. civilized human beings eat mm. in a Taco Bell. Yeah. What if we go to a place like... But we're like... not bringing oh. it into my car. That answers my question. Yeah. I guess it's not just think outside the bun, it's eat outside the bun too, huh? <laughs> I am pretty self-conscious about us driving around in this... Decommissioned Wiener Mobile. <laughs> Oscar Meyer sold it to you. I'm expecting promotion right, for I one mean, of your past albums. You could albums. say that. I mean, it changed hands <laughs> a few times uh, from Oscar Meyer to uh, when it came into my possession. Welcome, welcome, fellow listeners. You have reached the Wasting All the Time podcast, and this is our serialized, improvised show known as The Plot Thickens. El Thico de Plato. Let us see where our potluck pals take us this week. I'm just, I'm just saying, maybe we don't put in a recipe that just says open a bag of Lay's potato chips and pour mm-hmm. it into a bowl. That doesn't seem like a recipe. That that seems like it, a thing people just do. Well, I mean, it's instructions, right? And I mean, what is a recipe but a set of instructions? I think technically I'm just that's thinking correct. Like, if we don't put that into the book, then my whole contribution is sort of not even in it. There's you've plenty. done a lot of things, Bill. Yeah. Th- done you've many, done actual recipes, Bill. Many actual recipes. Bill and I just don't understand why this is the hill that you're choosing to die on. Well, no, I mean, I, I ain't interested in dying just yet. Uh, that ain't it's, it it's, at all. It, it's a metaphor. It's metaphor. Oh, I see. Oh, well, to you, I, I don't really always know with you and death and all of that. You know, when it's when you on the it's clock, when you off the clock. So, oh, uh, my this apologies. is true. It's it's. I, I'm sorry. I'm just a little. I'm just a little stressed out today. That's all. Yeah. Well, I mean, you were gone for a while, so I don't know. Maybe mm. uh, Did, maybe all that. Fresh jungle air tired you out. Did you end up hunting a rainbow all the way? So, you know what? Ding, dang, darn, climate change has made it harder than, a, than shooting fish outside in the ocean. It used to be like shooting fish in a barrel to go and catch a, a darn rainbow down in Peru. And now, now you got you to gotta sit around and wait and hope. Jeez. The hair just turned so blue. My goodness. Helen, I've never seen you so spirited. I'm yeah. sorry. I just I just was like very your aura just, it, blew up. It, it's like I, I I just like to be able to go down to Peru. I like to to meet with my old friend Alejandro and and reminisce of days gone by and then go and catch a rainbow. But no, no, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Did you talk to Alejandro? Did you talk to Alejandro about uh, about our book? Alejandro, oh, I did, I did. Well, I mean, his factory is the one that's going to be making the 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 covers themselves, not the oh, not wow. the paper or the binding, but they're going to be making the material for the cover. So I think oh, okay. that it would be a good time to go down there anyway, since we're getting so close. But you know, I just. 
I'm really starting to think that maybe this whole climate thing is is real. I mean, normally I can go down there and I just look left or I look right and there's a rainbow everywhere. Just zip line right through them and that this yeah. time. Mm-mm. Crying shame. Someone should do something it's about crying that. crying shame. It's a sad, sad world. Sad world. Sad, sad, sad world. So you, when the, you when did, the rainbows disappear. Yeah. Just <laughs> disappear in rainbows. That'll get you every time. You did end up hunting one, though, right? Oh, yes, of course. That's why That's why I'm back. Um, if there's one thing that everybody should know about me, Helen, it's that I do not give up. I am stubborn I as a mule. And, and stronger fire. and better looking. I would hope so. I, I would hope that I look better looking than a mule, but... You know, there yeah, are some well, I mean, very attractive mules out there, I've been told. Although they can't, they I ain't never seen them hold it together during a hay fire. So I think, you know, the bar is, is well and truly met. <laughs> it's true. This is true. I do and have that particular skill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's great. Um, Gosh. You know what? All right. Yeah, we can leave the potato chip bit out, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to die on, in a hill or anything. You, you just got so much more to offer, Bill. I really think that, that who you are as a recipe designer individual has so much more oomph. So much more oh, pizzazzy thanks. oomph. Thank you. I guess, I guess, honestly, I'm just a little bit sort of self-conscious knowing that, you know, sometimes... I bring a can of soup, and sometimes I bring Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches, and sometimes I bring, you know, microwavable meals. And I don't know, I guess I just want to make sure that something of mine gets in. Well, here's the thing, and I would like to put this proposal, since three out of the four of us are here, we can vote on it. I would like... We have a quorum. ...some of Bill's recipes... Simple to be majority. the premier entry recipes for the vegetarian section. You know what? That oh, is right. amazing, and I love it. I think That's I think right. that your 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 vegetarian recipes, Bill, they are excellent. I think that they are a wonderful representation. All vegetables are a great resp- representation of who you are as a chef and right. as a person. Oh yeah, no, you got, y'all y'all all did like my vegetarian omelet. We mm-hmm. called it a pocket mm-hmm. salad. It was innovative, mm-hmm. tasty, accessible. It was mm-hmm. it was sarcastic, but it I guess it turned out. So mm-hmm. yeah, all right. Sometimes sarcasm is the strongest form of art. Thank you. I'd be honored to have a place. Everybody it's great. Everybody in the entire county, they're just going to look at you and they're going to go, oh, Bill, that's the person who loves vegetables so much. That's Bill. Vegetable. Wait, that's that? They Bill. might call you Vegetable. Oh, no. It writes oh. itself. It writes itself. That's going to be, that's going in the book. That's going in the book. <laughs> I might need to write a, like an afterword or something. What word? I can't. I, I, oh, I shiver to think about that reputation going out. What, what, whatever do you mean, vegetable? I think it works. <laughs> Already catching on. Vegetable. I can hear it already. I can hear it already. Oh, I'm in my nightmares. Vegetable. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm going to have to move. <laughs> move, you move. say? Yeah. Does Alejandro have a, a not a, sh- a he shack or whatever? <laughs> I think I need to get out of Dodge. Unfortunately, I do not think he does. That's a kind of shame. <laughs> I just, <sighs> he does own a zipline in business, so that's something. He does. It's very nice zipline. Uh, hey, I got a question for you, uh, for y'all. Um, yeah. And I know this might sound a little crazy but um <laughs> very few things sound crazy coming from you Helen. i was i was i was going up into my attic the other oh. day and i could have you have sworn, an attic oh yeah i know i guess huh yeah 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 i got an attic um but 
I kept uh it, there there are certain beams that normally like I hit my head on and I got to duck underneath. Mm. Am I shrinking? I, I, well, that I don't quite well, follow. Well, uh, it uh, interesting hypothesis. Yeah, what makes yeah. you think that you would be a shrinky dink? Well, there, there are certain there are certain beams that normally I have to I have to duck under, and and I, what I do is yeah. I put my hand on the beam, and then I go underneath it. Otherwise, I get a hit on my noggin, yeah. and and I was oh, going to the oh. back area, and yeah. uh, I went to to reach for the beam so I don't hit my noggin, and I couldn't even I couldn't even get to the beam itself. Yeah, 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 wow. yeah. No, you know what? That is starting to ring a bell. Uh, oh, I was meaning to talk to you about that, actually, Helen. I remember now. Uh, oh, yeah, no. Oh, no. oh am I, I am shrinking then, aren't I? I'm doing yeah. one of those, uh, honey, I yeah. shrunk the kids, but it's just myself. It's, but it's platonic friend, Helen, you shrunk yourself. No, Allie, no, yeah. no I don't think we oh, can go down dear. there. You don't think so? No? No, I don't oh, think no. Don't, I, She won't believe it. it it'll get proven wrong. <gasps> I don't, uh, I, my, my no, mama uh, always said, my mama always said, you start shrieking when you get older. That's true. Helen, she was a really tiny woman, right? <laughs> yes, she was. Well, she didn't start tiny. I remember, no. I remember when I was little, she was very big. Mm. Yeah, and she just found her way to being tiny eventually. Uh, and that could very well, <laughs> that could very well be happening to you as well, Helen. It, it might be genetic or ge- whatever. Uh, uh no, but I was meaning to talk to you actually because uh item number twenty eight on your list of things to do uh was oh, actually uh, forty four yeah 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 forty of yeah four twenty eight of forty four uh was actually to uh increase the height of your attic space uh and install better fire suppression systems. Oh, code. it was. Yeah. Yeah, you can see right oh, here. No. Like well, it's not then... in the Edwardian script. I think you maybe thought of it late or something. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh yeah, it says twenty eight point five. Yeah, yeah, and it's signed off on by an architect and all that. We got the stamp on oh, there. I, you know, that's so odd. Now I'm just worried that maybe my mind is going. Oh, you're well, getting you might... shorter and dumber. Oh, well, the brain geez. does shrink, just like Mama. If you got hypo, well, I mean, your mom's got a hypo pretty pop, smart. Is, it, yes, I mean, yeah, like <laughs> then everything might shrink. I don't huh. know, but uh, yeah, no, I was yeah. So that's done, and that's cool. Everything's fine. Hmm. That's really handy. I'm really proud of you, Bill, for getting that whole thing installed all by yourself too. I yeah, mean, well, when you came to talk to us about it earlier, and you you seemed a little bit outside yourself, and I just want to say I'm really proud of you. Thank you. Yeah, I, you know, I feel like I'm really so maturing and growing to meet the occasion. You know, You're so f- it's a, a real growth moment for me, and uh, just happy to not be in trouble. Hmm. <gasps> I don't know why you'd be in trouble. I mean, you got through all 46 items. Uh, I don't. Yeah. No, I'm just in general. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. No, if I, I know I appreciate you uh, leaving the list and everything and, uh, and, uh, and uh, kept me busy, kept me out of, out of trouble, out of the pool halls, as my mama used to say. And. Uh, Bill, you went to a pool hall without me? No. Nope, my, as I was saying, it kept me out oh. of the pool halls. Oh. oh as my mama used to say. Concerned for a moment. Well, do you want to go to the pool halls again now that you're not busy? Well, I don't want you cramping my style, you know? Like, there are people mm-hmm. at the pool hall that know me that, like, it's a different friend group, and I'm kind of like a different person when I'm there. Oh, and I don't know. I just feel like maybe I need to keep those two worlds separate. That's right. I'm not going to I'm not going to lie, but I've seen you at the pool hall, Bill. Oh, I know no. you don't go by Bill. I know. No. I know You've you go by Williams without me before. This is yeah. shocking. 
Alistair, I go to the pool halls like once a week. And I'm sorry I don't mm -hmm. take you. Mm -hmm. I know we've had so many conversations where you're like, how oh, we were billiards is the ultimate gentleman's game. And I love it so much. And I really like, like to prove my uh, uh, mental abilities by calculating uh, the angles and all that. And I'm like, come on, leave the math out of it. And I always say, you know, I don't want to go because, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to have to do the geometry and all of that. And, but the truth is, right. And well, William does go to the pool hall. And, and the, William the one thing, oh, yeah. wears a bandana on his head instead of a cowboy hat. You told and me bandanas were for gangsters and tiny children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I pair it with a zoot suit with the <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with no jacket, but just the suspenders. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. honestly, William is kind of like this outgoing, flamboyant guy who like knows all That's the true. songs on the jukebox. They have a jukebox. He sings along. They do. I mean, William, uh, what was it, two, three, four, four weeks before I went to, to Peru? It was about a month before I went to Peru. They did that entire karaoke competition, and you won that. I well, did. I, mean, I guess you did it. Won the William karaoke? Won it. William mm -hmm. won the, cari the, uh, the pool hall karaoke competition. Uh, you that told me singing on stage was for communists. I told you what? <laughs> That singing on stages was for communists. Yeah, I mean, after a fashion, I do believe that, I, in a way. <laughs> uh, that's why I gotta separate the personalities, you know? Because I don't need that socialist nonsense coming in my everyday life. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I guess, I guess I do. <laughs> but when I'm there at the pool hall, it's all about us. You know, we... We play pool you know, together. We do? Yeah, and I snap and do the finger guns and... Oh, finger guns are the call coolest. Call people comrades and... <laughs> we have meetings. <laughs> we have meetings talking about organizing and... Okay. I shine my just, shoes. God, I'm embarrassed about that. This is just a lot to take in. <laughs> I know. Hey, let's talk about something else, huh? Because uh, anyway, that, that karaoke award got burned up in a fire. Random. Random fire. Oh. Yeah, oh let's not right. talk about it. I feel like I've really you unloaded that a lot. Karaoke, but you kissed that karaoke award every night before you went to bed. I every did. night? In my, in my not a she shack. That is where it was being kept, yes. For little little... Pre bedtime smooch. <laughs> but, but you said it got burned down. And it, yeah, in a small fire. Bill? Just very local. <laughs> Bill? <laughs> God damn it, Helen. Did, I can't keep it from you no more. Did you burn my not a she shack, she shack down? There was a kitchen That's, fire, it got into Bill. the attic. There was what? mostly just smoke damage. The I got everything is, fixed. is like 200 yards away from the main house. <laughs> I know, but it was. That's why it took me so long to get the garden hose over there. <laughs> but we got it taken care of. And then some friggin' buff, nerdy firefighter saw my uranium and I got in trouble. Anyway, the long story oh, short, there God. was no item 28 on the list. I put that on there. They want you and you. You're fine. Your brain ain't shrinking. It's probably growing big and strong. Oh, my God. I don't understand. I it's been tough, Helen, for How all of you? us. I <sighs> All right, well, Helen, this is where you're supposed to sit down and you're supposed to mentally go into your happy circle. Oh, oh no, yes, not the happy do. circle breath. I wish you all the I'm success in the world with your... I'm going to be in a happy circle and it's going to be fine and I'm going to be okay. Nothing's going to happen and everything's going to be okay and everything's going to be okay. Bill, it's so been nice so knowing you. Oh, no, she's going kind of incomprehensible. Bill's just... It's Helen's angry voice. Things happen. 
I look forward to meeting you in the afterlife, this Bill. This is scary. That's fine. You know what, Ali? Like, I don't know if we're both going to be there, but yeah, we'll see. If it works out, it works out. <laughs> oh, she's still going. Oh, God, I got it. Yeah. I'm dead as a doornail. You, you're deader than that. Hold on. I got to write a letter to... I got to write a letter to my girlfriend, Janice, at the pool hall. You have a girlfriend at the pool hall? Well, I don't. William does. We've been going steady for a while, you know. It's pretty serious. So we both believe in the power of the workers. <laughs> Just be too awkward, and then you're gonna be over somewhere around, and then you're gonna see everybody else. Oh my god, I've never seen Helen go as long. This, this is this bad. is the longest I've ever seen it. What if you and done? We don't even have Alex here to defend me. <sighs> yeah. Um. Bail. You're about to be a hunk of hunk of burning flesh, Helen. It's okay. Huh. She's gone full crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's happened. It's happened. The twig snapped. <laughs> <laughs> Poor shrunken brain just split what? right in two. You never go full shrinky dink. Shrinky dink is real. The shrinky dink is real. <laughs> I'm sorry, Helen, go on. It's okay, Bill. Should I eulogize Bill now? Start writing anyway. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying, Bill. Yeah? It's okay. <sighs> You're okay. I am. Helen, why is your face doing that thing? And why am I talking with your accent? Oh my God, your brain <laughs> is leaking out. <laughs> oh, Helen. <laughs> Everything, everything is fine, Allie. Right. Every, everything yeah. is good. Everything's fine. Everything's okay. All right? I tentatively accept your offer. Okay. Now we're going we're gonna to work on this here book. Oh, okay? right. Yeah, the book, of course. That's, that's, yeah. Yeah, how did we, yeah, of the course. The thing that will keep us all on. alive. Yeah, so, okay, I'm going to be a Vegemite, and we'll have the chip yeah. thing taken out. Yeah, I'm fine with both go. those changes. That's uh -huh. good. Those okay. are good changes. Yeah, anything. Uh, oh, what, what, what do you, I, I would like y'all's input on this, though. I'm just one person. Like, what else, how do you think we should start even the, the opening? Uh, uh, well, um, um, we've got. Oh, gosh, we've, I don't know. Uh, you want to take dictation or something, or? We can try to work we something out right now. We'll try to work in oh, order to pals. form a more, more, more perfect. perfect. Oh, you're going to do it in sync. Oh, yeah. I'll dictate yeah. while uh, you, I'll take the dictation while you, y'all do it in sync. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. This, we, this, this cookbook, cookbook is, is for, for the, all the people. people who, who we, we couldn't could kill. 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 And, and now, now you, you will, will have, have your, your culinary, culinary vengeance. Vengeance upon them. Upon them. Them. Yes. Perfect uh, unison. Sounds... We I are amazed. Out. Yeah, <laughs> there was no delay. This... It certainly didn't play a factor. Not whatsoever. The... <laughs> this sounds, you know, um, this sounds constructive. Okay, maybe good. a little too aggressive, though. You think? Uh -huh. uh, well, yeah. Fair note. Fair note. I think we did stray towards into a bit of... Yeah, towards whomst. I think everyone. Yeah, generally speaking, kind of aggressive. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Kind of. Yeah. All right. Well. Hmm. There's something How? about saying that you're making a cookbook. 
it's out of yeah. vengeance of cooking because you can't yeah. kill people. There's something yeah. a little. I don't think well, that's how we want to provide an insight into our county. Oh, fair. I, I, I guess okay. you're kind of. I'm. I'm wondering why you're focusing so much on the vengeance part. We did start out by saying this cookbook is for the people, which I think is very <laughs> kind and, and and magnanimous. <laughs> But uh, you know what? Note taken. Yep, uh, yeah, Allie, well, less vengeance. Less vengeance. Okay. Okay. I guess um, more. What's the opposite of vengeance? Uh, uh, Helen. So instead of vengeance, something hugs. Hugs. Is that, is that do people like hugs? I, I think I think maybe we don't. We just uh. Not not talk about killing people, and oh, not yeah. talk about how this is. We are not writing a cookbook for Batman, you know. Oh no, that well, yeah, puts all it right, a lot more into enough. perspective. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Okay, so uh, this is a cookbook for the people, um, of the who? community who. Oh, so I was just going to say who we are not going to kill. We are not. Right? I don't, just put I don't that think in there. we need to put that in. No. I don't, I don't, we, oh, gosh, she's got us coming that. and going with that. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, for the people, period. That sounds okay. good. That That's sounds, a, you know, yes. keep it simple. That's a good yeah. start. <laughs> um, uh, in it, you will find the spirit of our community uh, um, with anecdotes from our lives uh, illustrated by the food that we share. Well, that's like illustrations. That's yeah, just wonderful, pictures. Bill. Bill, that's just great. It was really good, really. I'm okay. Wow. Dude. wow. Can I sit down now? It, you you may. You didn't have to stand for that entire thing either. I mean, oh, I did like the well, hand right. movements, though. Those I'll, were inspiring. Mm-hmm. I'll keep that in mind. Keep the hand movements. Stay seated. All right. You know, right. Bill. I think I think that you would be an excellent choice to. Do the primary writing in this book. Yeah, you do seem to have the panache for it. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be the author and the Vegemite? Yeah, well, why not? One in the same. (laughs) Wow. Um, Okay, but like, I still need help with like putting it together though, right? Oh, we're doing, yeah, we're doing all of it as a team. But if you're the primary writer, then the... The inspiration is flowing from the ink quill of your soul, pen. Oh, wow. Okay, but now, see, but now it sounds like he should, because that was artistic. No, that's that all I got. Beautiful. No, that, that was it. That was top. That was, I'm, I'm I, tapped. Honestly, I was afraid that Alistair was going to say an ink pen of blood. So I, that's why I think we should oh, stick you with you, Bill. No, we should not have. I was just terrified you would. Fear, the mind killer. Mm, you shouldn't fear. Yeah. Generally. Okay. I mean, I could take a stab at it, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, like, I don't know. Maybe y'all can hook me up with some like anecdotes about your lives and the and the recipes y'all been bringing. Like Helen, like your your grandma's apple crisp. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I think that one should definitely be in there, and I love that story. So uh, it's a good one, Allie. It's a good... I don't know. If you have publishable yeah. stories about your your recipes, but check me up. Not. You know, we'll see what what fits with the tone. I okay. I wow, I you... sound smart all of a sudden. This is weird. <laughs> I think you've always been smart. I don't I think know. So, Bill, Bill, have I'm... you ever have you ever considered writing in the first place? <sighs> Beyond checks, um, <laughs> Jesus. I guess. I hadn't really thought about it. I have an active imagination. You do, it's true. Yeah. I kind of feel like when you write something down, then it's like 
can be used against you in a court of law. Well, I'm sure. I'm sure. I, I remember your parents, Jesus. and that makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah. Yeah, they were very Fucking litigious. Hell, dude. God damn it. Yeah. Oh, all right. You know, this is very exciting to me. Yeah. We just have to hope that that Alex doesn't get upset. I mean, I know that he was I know that he was talking over and over again about how he wanted to do a lot of the writing and everything since he writes songs, but I, Yeah. Uh, actually, he had I all to, those notes, but He did, but he was also doing things like putting putting the blood of his Amazon delivery driver into his calzone and it was actually a pizza and <laughs> Honestly, I think most of what everything he's been doing is a pizza. It's yeah, really most pizza everything pizza end up being inspired, very pizza yeah. related, deconstructed pizza. 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 pizza, pizza adjacent, even pizza adjacent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Like, do we write them out? Oh, I think that's a little disingenuous. Oh, I don't think, no, I don't think we brought him out. I think some of his pizza recipes will be very good. I'm just saying that we might need to batten down those hatches uh, when y'all tell him that y'all decided that he's not going to be the main author of this uh, cookbook. Um, Because I'm not going to say it. I I refuse to say it. I will I throw you, you to that wolf bill and that will be your penance for burning part of my she shack oh, down. There it is. I, I knew it. it I knew you were doomed. But when you, you see can a tell, volcano in the You distance, can tell Alex that he's not allowed to be the main <laughs> author in this here book. <laughs> Fucking weird distance. Takes a while for the shockwave to get to you, but yeah. there it was. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, Helen. I will have that conversation. Whew. I would really, really appreciate it if someone could get his umbrella away from him before I do that. You are really, you are really a saint, Helen. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I've been here all week. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> Holy hell. That was. Oh my gosh. Decently proud Just of that one. Dropped that one on us. Yeet, brethren. That was a good. That was a good button to end on. Very good button to end on. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Decently proud of myself. Um, that I didn't try to work mount in there. It was like, no, no, no. This is, this is the bit. <laughs> it was good. Thank you. Uh, all right. Well, fellow listeners, you have just finished listening to the most recent installment of Potluck Pals. The plot thickens. Thank you so much for spending your time with us. And we will see you next week for a normally scheduled Wasting All the Time improvised comedy podcast. Until then, Bon voyage. (gasps) But that's my thing. It's the thing I say. Goodbye. I'm Dave. Good night, oh. folks. Good night, folks. All right, folks. Congratulations. You've made it to the end of another episode of Wasting All the Time, a podcast. If you enjoyed this show, then please consider subscribing on Apple Podcasts or Stitcher, or follow us on Spotify. If you really enjoyed the show, then head on over to patreon.com slash timewastepod and become a supporter of our time-wasting efforts. Now, that was a lot of things I just threw at you. So if you forget all of that, just head on over to wastingallthetime.com. And there we have all the answers.